Hello, everyone. You are listening to the C Squared podcast with Corey and Curtis. Today, we have two awesome guests. We have Federico and Julia from the band Raven's Cry. They are both quite good at using social media, so we're going to get some tips from them for you guys. Uh, But first, I just want to say thank you both for joining us today. We're super excited to have you here. Thank you for inviting us. You're welcome. And so for people who may not be familiar with your band or may not know about you guys, do you want to just give a brief intro of who you are, the kind of music that you play, and a little bit uh, about the band? Yes, of course. Uh, Our band is called Raymond's Cry, and we are from Italy. Um, Our is a, um, a sort of melodic metal band with some... Uh, with several uh, um, kind of influences. Uh, that's all. We, we released uh, four albums in our history, and uh, you can find um, some different um, influences and uh, topics in our, in our writings. Yeah, I agree with you, Julia. <laughs> so, are you? Are you? Do you agree? So, so just to ask you guys here, so how, so the band's been around for a while. So what would you say would be kind of like some of the successes that you guys have had as a band in that time? I'm sorry, can you repeat? My connection would, was not good. No worries. I said, um, what would you guys say would be some of the successes you guys have had as a band since you started? Like some of the good things that have happened, notable achievements, that type of thing. Well, um, what do you think about it, Fede? Um, I, I'm the new one in Ramos Cry, you know, but uh, you know, we, we, we did a lot of um, European tours during these years yep. and supporting mm-hmm. uh, great bands uh, like Angra, Covering the Lotus, and um, we, um, well, I'm speechless right now. <laughs> uh, sorry, um, I'm missing some words. No worries. Or you're the new one. You're the yeah. kid. Band of it. Yeah, I, I'm the kid. I'm the baby. <laughs> okay, but my my memory is very bad. But uh, um, for what I can remember, unfortunately or fortunately, the the story of our band um, uh, is a long story, <laughs> and that means that we are no longer kids. Anyway, um, it started when uh, it started maybe in um, August uh, twenty o eight. And uh, uh, we started with a, a simple demo with a few songs and uh, um, totally a set product. Then we uh, released the other uh, three albums. And one of, that, one of those is a concept album. Uh, it's called Invisible. And it's about the story of an autistic girl. It was a very, um, how to say, very hard work, very complex work, uh, especially for the the, the writing process. Um, but the very, um, but the most important and the most exciting experience it was, uh, of course, touring. Uh, we um, we shared the stage with uh, a lot of uh, amazing bands like Cobra and a lot. Um, like Angra, uh, the Scorpions, and um, and many others. So uh, it was a very, um, a very full, a very full um, music life. Uh, it uh, <laughs> we had a break with the uh, with the COVID, mm-hmm. of course, and we we tried to continue our activity. Um, shifting on the social social um, media yes and that it is it sucks for me because i'm not a social addicted but it was very important for networking 
Mm -hmm. And you guys have done a really wonderful job on, on social media and networking with people. Um, one quick question before we yeah. get into the next one. Are you guys on a label or are you independent now? Uh, I can answer to this question. Uh, we are independent now because we own a label. That's so, what I thought. I thought you guys had your own label. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we just released, I, if, if I'm not wrong, The Invisible and the latest album, 100. And uh, yeah, we, why we choose to own our, to um, have our own able? Uh, because we prefer to do ourselves, you know, it's you, we, 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 we just doing in this way and it's work. So we, we try to, to keep the, the thing by ourselves. Yeah, it's definitely good when you, when you can control the situation for yourselves and yeah. with how good you are with social media. I, I can picture that you guys would have a lot of success with the things that you do. Mm -hmm. um, and so speaking of social media, the thing mm -hmm. that, you know, how we met was you reached out to me about um, interviewing the band that I manage on your yeah. live. So yeah. what made you guys want to start the, the live chats with the other bands? Because that's something really unique that mm -hmm. I haven't seen a whole lot of other bands working so hard to prop up the community to boost the community the mm -hmm, way that you mm -hmm. guys do and i i love it so what made you guys want to do it oh well we start to do live chats of course um because of um the the covid situation but because this situation strike are uh, the music industry so we try to um keep uh connect and keep company to first of all our audience because they can uh, see us live for a long period at the same time we try to uh stay connect with our colleagues we are our colleagues as artists and musicians uh, from other bands of course and um uh it, it was like uh you know um the, the first one, uh, we, we, we start uh, doing live chat between mm -hmm. us because, of course, we, we, we uh, added a guest, special guest, at the, at the first time. Then we, we try to, uh, we, we, we ask to uh, many, 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 many artists, like uh, the first one I think was uh, Lena Shizorans from yes. Inspector Gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so uh, she was really kind with us and she accepted uh, uh, our invitation. Uh, it, it, was a, it was a really great live chat, live chat, sorry. And so we, we, we think about that and we say, okay, we have a connection with, we had a connection, sorry, with Lena, uh, she's around, so we can do this thing for other bands and uh, it non, it's not important if there are big bands or small bands, you know, because musicians are musicians. So we try to um, maybe um, to, you know, discover new bands on, 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 on the market, on the planet and, uh, um, you know, uh, well, um, let discover this band to our audience also at the same time and you know to keep the connection and you know uh, the music industry is really you know fragile in some kind of situation in in this particular one so we try to boost all the thing with this live chat yeah so just as a follow-up to that do you try to get bigger guests ever like well known yeah people. yeah you know but it's mm, not so easy you know elena was really kind and we also we had also um anna murphy for solar darling 
Nice. So, and other, uh, sorry, <laughs> right now I can't remember any guests we had, uh, <laughs> but we, we have a lot of uh, important guests during our live chat. For example, Timo Sommers from, uh, from XD Lane, mm -hmm. of course. Um, Kieran mm -hmm. Robertson from uh, Gift Kate, mm -hmm. and um, you know, uh, we we all we always try to uh, bring a uh, big gas from our live chat, but it's not so easy because of the management, or mm -hmm. you know, or because they are simply busy with their work, of course. So, yeah, yeah, you know. But, well, we, we, we try, we try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. my, 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 Maybe my we need to rest for the COVID. What? Yeah, of course. Simply but they my, want to rest. What, what? Sorry? No, I just said, uh, or simply they wanted to rest. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. By the way, my aim is to bring uh, Rudy Walker from Protest Euro <laughs> because mm -hmm. I'm a Protest Euro fan, you know. So, right. Rudy, um, if you are listening to us. <laughs> uh, just out of curiosity, just before we go into the next question, just one more, just to follow up on this whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, is there a specific reason why you will invite a certain guest on? Or you, do you just not, do you just look for anybody? Oh, well, um, um, about the search guest, uh, I, I, you know, I'm the man who, who has this uh, work, this job to do, and mm -hmm. I try to uh, find interesting bands, and uh, maybe I listen to the songs. I, I, I you know, um, I'm, I'm talking about uh, medium little bands, of course, the big important mm -hmm. bands are famous. So, uh, if I try to bring, I don't know. Um, Nightwish singer, I know, <laughs> I know her, so I I didn't have to uh, get a lot of infos about the about sh uh, about her, but for medium and little uh, bands, I like to uh, do a, a research, mm -hmm. so I listen to their music, and uh, uh, you know I I write some notes about my little book, you know. To mm -hmm. about these bands and say, okay, it's really interesting. So why don't we have to uh, do a live chat with them? So uh, and this is so the process, the searching process. So it's yeah. At the end, there is no way. <laughs> Just searching for interest, little and medium bands, and nice. of course the ones, but. You know, I like, I am a musician, I like music, and I like to discover new bands with, uh, th there are a lot of good bands uh, in the world with uh, a lot of particular influences in their style, uh, they have their own print, so it's, you know, doing this live chat for me, it's, uh, um, I'm glad to do this because I'm discovering a lot of bands during this time. And uh, yeah, it's, it's good for me. So that's fine. So I got kind of a weird question to ask you, but I got to ask you this. So yeah. now you interview a lot of bands with different mm -hmm. languages. Like you've done a Kiaville. I know you yeah. did Lee from Magia. Um, yeah. How, like, how did you kind of get over the, maybe the fear of talking to someone that doesn't really speak the same language as you? For the interviews because i know that can be hard at first yeah uh you know it, it's happening it, it's happened in yeah in, in in i think in a live chat with um a brazilian band because mm -hmm. the singer uh you know the, the um, didn't speak english well but you know we we try to, uh, the, the, there was also the guitarist who is also an English speaker. So he, uh, he helped her mm -hmm. to speak with us. 
no and uh, you know my english as you can as you can hear is so bad so there is you know i can i can i can speak with i have no problem speaking with uh, uh their english is not fluent so i can understand them so yeah nice cool you know yeah yeah by the way my english is it's not good too so. it's not good yeah so all the world right now can can hear my bad english you know yeah okay. i'm an american and my english is still really bad so it's fine <laughs> yeah. oh you're lying english is fantastic you're, you're lying you're lying yeah. you know you know because i'm uh, I, I'm, I'm i'm ah come on i'm a bit nervous <laughs> that's that's the way or that's the point your english is perfectly fine um and then outside of the lives that you guys do uh what are some other social media things that you've done that you've seen a lot of success that maybe other bands could could give a try because i'm i'm looking through your social media and i see uh the song challenges oh. that you do that they look a lot of fun um so what are some just other things that you've done on social media that have been really successful? Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm the, the man behind the social media marketing, the Red Sky social media marketing. And uh, I'm not, I'm not studying market, marketing, of course. Uh, but, you know, uh, the first thing is, being creative mm -hmm. so um when, when i publish when i release mm -hmm. song challenge it, it, you know it's um a little thing but you know it's another uh way to um entertain your audience with a little game you know mm -hmm. so i don't know maybe uh you can Working on social media is like, you know, right now is the scrolling era, you know, mm -hmm. you are on Instagram and every, every second I'm, you know, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. And if I find, if I find uh, a good content, I stay and I see the content. So uh, the, my advice is to uh, be creative and create uh, amazing content to um, you know um, entertain your audience or other people that are uh, watching your profile, your social media, or I don't know um, uh, yeah mm -hmm. be creative <laughs> that's, that's, that's the words you know I, because I think that um, um, more um, most of the followers are attracted by um, uh, contents about your um, your your life of every day mm -hmm. uh, life. something something easy something um, for example, you are cooking, you are reading something, you are in the seaside, and uh, I think that the followers are are interested in this uh, because um, you, as an artist, as an artist, uh, can be seen also like uh, a person. Mm -hmm. and so in this way, they can they can feel like. Uh, more near to you and um, I think it's important for the social communication oh I definitely agree the more you can show people what you're like when you're off stage mm -hmm. the more connected they they feel to the band it's uh and that's I think one of the best things about social media is being able to show people who you really are mm -hmm. when yeah. you're not up on the stage it's it can be a lot of fun um curtis yeah. do you have another follow-up i i did actually i wanted to know i just realized i'm talking super fast and i gotta slow it down um i wanted to know 
have you guys increased your sales of CDs or merchandise since doing the big social media push? Oh, yes. We, we, we sold a lot. You know, we released a couple of months ago our 10th anniversary um, limited edition vinyl of One Way Out, the first album. So mm-hmm. we, we, we did um, a campaign, of course, and uh, working with social media it was great and he paid a lot of effort that we put in during this thing and uh, yeah we we have um we we had a lot of new sales during this time and that's great because you know you can't go on the stage you can't um uh you can't do a tour, a proper tour. And so these things help us to stay alive, you know? Yep. Um, yeah, yeah. By the cool. way, yes, yes. Yes. The, yep. the, the answer is yes. Cool. Um, and as a follow up to that, um, yeah. what has actually, um, sorry, how do I want to phrase this? What uh, thing do you think has actually got you guys the most sales like as a social media action Uh, uh, sorry can you repeat the question please yeah sorry what what social media action has gotten you the most sales do you think oh um sorry uh the the facebook promotion facebook yeah really uh yeah because i think it's i don't know but facebook was the most uh, um i can say that you know we we get a lot of good um performance for the campaign uh we did also during um the last year a lot of uh, spotify ads youtube ads okay. you know all the all the thing but the facebook one was the the most performant you know nice yeah and cool. and it was also I, I i didn't expect that also so yeah i wouldn't yeah, have either you know, you know because oh. facebook or uh, it's an old social media you know yeah 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 Uh, one additional question which has nothing to do with social media is uh who did you guys use for your pr campaign or did you do it on your own on our um right now um we used uh facebook you didn't hire anybody to do pr no no you're told that oh no sorry 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 I did. I I didn't catch the question. Uh, sure. Where? Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, for uh, the release of uh, Android, our latest album, we 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 work with a PR. Yes, of course. Who, who did Who did you work with though? Uh, was uh, gosh. Adrenaline. 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 I think. Yeah. I'm not sure. Let me check, please. Yeah. Well, well, while you're checking, I'm, uh, I have another question I'll ask Julia since uh, we haven't ha- asked her in, in a little bit. Yeah, it was adrenaline. It was adrenaline? Cool. Um, so, Julia, I just have a question for you. How do you personally use social media to get interaction? As I've, oh, as I've already said, I'm not a social addicted and I use it very... But when uh, you do... Very softly. When you yeah. do use how do you how, what's what's the platform you normally use i um i usually use uh facebook facebook yes. wow, you, oh, oh. profile facebook profile yeah cool no worries um cory do we have another question on on this one or do we want to move on to the next one uh no i think i'm good on this one do you want to go ahead and ask the next one yep so this i don't know if either of you guys are going to know since uh, Federico is, wasn't, hasn't been in the band this long, I don't think, but 
how did you guys get a million views on your YouTube song? Simply, it wasn't me in the band. Well, that's what I mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so how do so how did how did it happen? You were there. You just joined, and then all of a sudden, you guys can't do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Julia. Do you want to reply? Not me. About oh me. No, <laughs> either one. No, I'm I'm arguing with Corey. Don't worry. Uh, oh, okay. Being mean. I'm sorry. I interrupted. Yeah. yeah. So. Julia, do you know how you guys got a million views on your YouTube view by or on your YouTube by chance? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the question. Sure. Uh, you want to tell tell her, Fed? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, maybe in Italian. Uh, Julia ci ha chiesto uh, come abbiamo fatto ad avere così tante milioni di visualizzazioni su YouTube o comunque con le nostre oh. canzoni. E gli ho detto che non c'ero io, è per quello che. I really don't know. It was a, like um, it was a sort of miracle, maybe. Okay. Um, no, um, it, it was. It started um, in particular when we um, when we were back from our first tour mm -hmm. uh, through the, the north, the northern Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I really don't know. We had a lot of uh, um, we had a lot of views, uh, in particular on a, on a song, nobody. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe I think because we had um, we had an interview in a, in a very important national radio in Sweden. Oh, nice. After that. Um, we had that surprise. Nice. That's and pretty cool. Increased, increased in the, in the next months. Cool. Um, okay, so next thing I got then um, on the YouTube channel is, so do you guys do anything specific to promote your YouTube or no? Well, uh, if you're talking about promotion, uh, we work with you know ads yeah but we we oh i can say that i'm missing the words no worries the commission the commission the work to uh another person who did all the ads for face for uh google so mm -hmm. uh but you know, uh, on our YouTube channel right now, there are the live chats mm -hmm. and we did a lot of, um, um, I don't know, uh, it's not like a backstage videos, but like, uh, we know, we are uh, Chino's endorsements. So Mauro and Fajo and Paul, the uh, founder member, uh, did a lot of videos about their gear, uh, about the endorsement uh, you can find also of course our official videos but for promotion how we promote our videos is just google ads it's you just know. what say that again yeah, sorry google ads oh we google ads google ads you know cool mm -hmm. um and then what if you're willing to say um what kind of budget do you guys usually put behind uh an ad campaign for youtube I don't know. You don't know. Fair <laughs> I'm enough. sorry. I can I can answer to this because I don't know. Okay. No we, worries. Okay. But okay. Uh, I hope uh, you know a cheap budget. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't know. I don't know. We, I have no idea. Um, no, okay. I have no idea. So, Corey, do you have any follow-ups? I got another one once. If you got, and if oh, you no, if go you, ahead, ask yours. Okay. So, what type of um, how do I explain this? What type of, uh, what places uh, notable, like notable places did you guys get press from for your last album? Like what places did you get reviews from like big places? Hmm. If any. Uh, hmm. uh, it was a surprise because we had a lot of reviews from Italy. Okay. And hmm. uh, because, you know, our genre is not like, uh, the main in Italy in our uh, country, but we 
we got a lot a lot of interview in uh, sorry uh, reviews in, in um, from our country they were good also yeah. in united states nice uh in um in uh, united kingdom of course uh spain Portu portugal uh germany a lot um i think also with we was we were in a playlist I can't remember that on Spotify for a huge, huge USA magazine. Gosh. Decibel? Outburn? No. Oh, um, what? Come on. Come on, Fede, you can do it. Oh, I can't remember that, guys. It passed a lot of time. No worries. Uh, uh it was it was huge. By the way, we we have a lot of uh, uh, we have reviews also on uh, Burn, a Japanese magazine. Nice. Uh, so uh, you know we touch little part of all of the world, and that's that's crazy, you know. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, is crazy. Hmm? Yeah, because for no no no, just go okay. on. Uh, is there any places where you guys are trying to get uh, press for that you guys would really want to get, like either in Italy or North America? For next album? Um, good question. I don't know. Jupiter? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. Um, Canada. Canada, maybe. Canada. Because uh, we... I think we never got an interview from Canada. I cool. don't know why. We 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 got a lot of review from the United States, from the north, the, from from the south of uh, America, of course, but never yeah. to Canada. Nice. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, also in China, we we got some reviews mm -hmm. from the East European, but not China. I cool. don't know. You nice. know, there there are the that the countries that are, you know, the, I can say that um more difficult to enter in, you know. Yeah. China is not so yeah, yeah. No, I get it. To, yeah. I get it. Um so I think we're almost out of questions. Corey, do you have any have anything else to ask them? Uh, no, I think on my end, I'm good. Did you have any final questions that you wanted to ask? Um, let me ask you guys. Well, yeah. uh, is there anything I should have asked you about that we didn't ask you about? Sorry, I, I have some problem connection. Sorry, can no you repeat, worries. please? Was before we wrap up, is there anything we should have asked you guys about that we didn't? Oh. Hmm. If you if you ask for a question, you you ask to us. Yeah. Is there anything? Yeah. Is there anything that we should have asked you that that you guys wanted to talk about that we didn't ask you about? Oh well, let me think. Yeah. That's um, um, maybe about um, our contents. Yeah, um, the contents of our albums. Mm. Uh, the inspiration sure we can do that so what was the inspiration behind your uh, your music <laughs> yeah um, I, 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 I often uh, write the lyrics um, and uh, it, it is a very um, a very hard work mm -hmm. but very uh, funny and uh, inspiring um, I take inspiration, I usually take inspiration and the guys too from um, books or movies or uh, uh, from um, situation, some situation that you live in our, in our lives. Nice. And uh, it was very interesting to, uh, to have to do with the concept album. Uh, as I already said in the invisible uh, it is a concept album about uh, uh, the story of a girl totally invented nothing nothing through 
but uh, um, it is about uh, um, the, um, the autism. And uh, it was very, very hard and complex, uh, the, the writing process, but very, uh, very deep, very deep and, uh, and, and funny. Uh, because uh, the story is um, um, is, uh, is, is told uh, through all the songs of the album and uh, you can find also some uh, uh, some writings and not music that um, explain better the story um, and the artwork too is uh, inspired by this uh, this story. Uh, it was a very very um, big big work for us. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it. Um, anything else we should be talking about in regards to that? Yeah, uh, I don't know uh, if you want to if you wanted to know a fun fact about uh, inspiration. Sure. Any fun facts are always good. Yeah, uh, when I wrote the riff for our latest single, maybe I was inspired by by my washing machine. Your washing machine? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's true. It's true, and because of their mechanisms, you know, mm -hmm. and I just keep uh, a good rhythmic guitar riff, you know. So, and, and it's work, you know, um, yeah, that's, that's the point. I was, uh, I, I'll, I'll can happen. Uh, it was the 4 a.m. Uh, I wasn't, I, I, I couldn't sleep. I don't know why. And I, I went from my bedroom to the um, living room. And behind the living room, there is the laundry, of course. And I don't know why, but that night, my washing machine was so uh, noisy, mm -hmm. you know? And it was like a that, 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 that like broken machine, washing machine, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I listened to that, to, that, to that washing machine and say, oh, it, was, it could be a, a cool... Uh, guitar riff like a la, da, 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 da. so I wrote this and uh, then maybe the maybe re guitar riffs came out so yeah that is amazing yeah that I'm total, I, I, yeah I'm totally mad I know man <laughs> <laughs> all right so I think I think we've run out of time so I'm gonna wrap it up now Corey do you have any final words okay. before we wrap up uh no where should everybody follow you to interact with you where's the best place for people oh. to go well you can follow us on facebook of course on instagram on our account uh you can also uh, listen to our music on spotify uh we have a youtube channel and we have also a telegram channel so if you want to join us you can and want to chat with us you can you can do it joining our telegram channel yeah and yeah. if you want to listen to our music and support us thank you so much cool. you have a lot of opportunities yeah mm. cool yeah all right so with that we're ending off party on Corey. party on curtis party on guys part